Hey, hey everybody, it's Rosie and I will from We are going to be playing the next part of this game. As promised, we are meeting Mr. Frank. Professor Frankly! Sorry! Okay. Who's that? Who wants me? Yeah, yes, you are. I think he has big glasses and that's why his eyes look silly. Wait for a moment, let me see. Who are you? Mm -hmm. Ah, it's not Goombril. Mm, not Eliza Goom. Mm. Um. Ah, we got it! You're Goombella, aren't you? You were in my archaeology class last year, am I right? Wow, yes sir, that's me. I'm Goombella, a junior at you Goom. Go Goombas! Of course I remember you. I'm pretty good at remembering. You though, you stick out in my mind because you're a great student. And that guy behind you is... Who? Mario! Professor, he's Mario. You know, the famous one. Oh, my apologies. I, I don't know what's hip right now. Anyway, what sort of errand brings you to a place like this? You're hoping you tell us about the legendary treasure below Roadport. Oh, did you want to do her voice? I thought that if anyone knew anything about it, you were Professor Frank Lee. Of course I know about it. That's why I came here. Why do you tanks want to learn about the legendary treasure? Most people think it's just a fairy tale. Archaeologists in Switzerland have searched for those who search, search, search for truth in those fairy tales, though. Me, I believe in our fairy tales. I really want to find it! Good point! Well made! I like this. I'll cooperate with you however I can. We should start by addressing what is that legendary treasure? Some say it's a treasure hoard, others say it's a magical item. Some books say it's a monster, some say it's just an empty treasure chest. So many different theories, it's impossible to figure out which one's true. They all agree on one point. To find the treasure, you need to have the crystal stars. To find the treasure of your, take the seven crystal stars to the thousand-year door. That's how the saying goes, and with a rhyme that solid, it must be true. Therefore, if you want to find the legendary treasure, collect the seven crystal stars. Oh, hey, I think that my original butter found the treasure, and I kind of matched the little Hold the magical mouse aloft for the entrance. It must be! We're in luck! The Thousand Year Door is located underneath the town, so you just need to hold the map up in front of the Thousand Year Door to find the first star. That's the critical piece of the puzzle, the magical map, but it's lost. If only we had it. Well, no, not we. Exactly, Mario has the magical map. Wow! <laughs> I'm freaking out. Wow! Me and Goomba. Hoopity, 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 hippity, hoopity, humla, hoopla, hoopla. Wow! Really? You actually have it? Can I take a quick look at it? Astounding! This is it—the real thing, the one and only magical map. Oh! <laughs> You, son, are my hero! You're great, fantastic, wonderful, even! With this map, we can locate the crystal stars by holding it in front of the crystal door. Right on, Spessel! Good golly, what are we sitting here? Goombella, Mario, let's take the magical map to the Thousand Year Door! Off we go this instant! I'll lead the way to the sewers! After that, Professor! Yep. I bet you didn't know this rotten thing came off, did you? <laughs> Tink. We can use a pipe to get down under the city streets to the sewer area, and that's where the Thousand Year Door is. The old town underneath this one. Wait, hang on a second. Mario, um... 
Chi, there are some hoodlums below. Keep your guard up. Do you want to practice fighting? Okay, yeah, let's do it. I think we already know how, but uh, let's do a little practice session. Goombella, you can fight Mario. What? Me? Are you serious? Yes. Um, oh, okay, um, okay, I'll do my best, I guess. We kind of saw a little bit of this at the end of the previous video where we had a little fight against the uh, Gus, but it, it's good to have a refresher here. So jumping is easy enough. You jump and then pick which enemy you'll fight. I mean, which enemy you're gonna jump on. In this case, Goombella is the only one we can jump on, right? We're only fighting on, one enemy. Can't jump on, press him. Now, it says press A at the exact moment you stomp on an enemy. I think the game will explain this. It's got that roll at the bottom of the screen. So I missed the jump. So again, it's going to make you keep doing this until you can do it. Did you want to try? Just press A when he lands right on top of her. And then you do a double jump. See? Does that make sense? Okay, so now we're going to do something else. We're pressing A right before the enemy hits you. Did you want to try this? Oh, you did it too early. Try again. Good. So that guards yourself. You get one less damage. You need to have good timing. You can't just press the A button over and over again. That would be cheating. So depending on your attack, you have to do something different. So now we're going to do hammer. So hammer has a slightly different rule than uh, jump. You need to hold, hold it to the left. It is showing you on the screen which direction is left. Yeah, and you need to have good timing, so like if you hold it to the left like way too long, I think it says no. Ooh, here's a cool technique. What's this? Press B whenever an enemy lands. Did you do that? Mm, too soon. It's a super guard. Try again. The timing is a little harder than the A one. Too soon. Okay, I'll try. Alright, here we go. Ow! Yes, Well, I mean, I... I ah! Okay, come on, Mario. You got this. Freeze right there, Mario. Press B at the exact moment the enemy attack lands. So it's not when she hits the top of his head. It's when she hits his mustache. What? What? I guess it's like a half second uh, you, you get to do a super guard. I went back on her. Yeah, so if you do a super guard with B, you take no damage and damage your enemy in return. The super guards are way harder to do. So it's a lot easier just to do the A guard. Okay. So do we want to practice some more or are we done? We're done. You're a quick learner. You're already a pro, I'm sure. <laughs> All right, now we go. Hop onto the pipe and press A to enter it. Okay. Yeah, and you can see a little bit of the right-hand side of town, which we'll be exploring later on. Ooh, sub-level one. Oh, and there's the pipe that we can't go in yet. We can't go in there either. <laughs> I think if we go to the left, we can't do anything yet either. Got a star piece there. Who's what person? Yeah, that person looks suspicious. Is this a store? What's... Oh, I think. Hmm. 
Who is this person? Buildings are crumbling. Some seem safer than the buildings above us. Lovely fortune teller. She can tell you where to go and what to do next, I think. So she can tell you where to find a star piece, or where to find a shine sprite, or where, where to go next. Uh, okay, that costs money. I'm sorry, but there are no shine sprites you can get right now. Please come back later. And she doesn't charge you for money, if, if that's the case. All right. Why did you smash your desk? I don't know. Yeah, you're mean. I wasn't trying to smash your desk. Mm. All right, so here I think we have to... Hey, man, what's up? Think it's cool to wall two way into our underground? Typical, you surface level snobs are so stuck up. Ooh, I get to see the sun. I like to breathe clean air. Ooh. Hey, come over here, scruffy mustache man. We're going to teach you some manners. Leave him alone! Can't do academics in a world-famous hero wander the sewers of a port town in peace? If this is your usual greeting the visitors, you must have learned it down here because it stinks! Ouch, that was cold! What, you're too good for a fight? If you ain't looking to tussle, stay out of the sewer! Nobody doesn't start a fight with us! Nobody, let's get them! Yep, these guys start a fight. I can't run away from this fight. Goomba, a spiky Goomba, and a Paragoomba. It's the full family tree. So the one in the middle is a spiky Goomba. You can't jump on him because he's got a spike. The Paragoomba flies, so you can't hit it with your hammer. You have to jump for him. The last one. So you need to study your opponent before you choose your attack method. Be ready for tricky action commands. Let's go. Oh, that's right. I forgot to tell you. You can press Y to switch who attacks first. Alrighty, so who should attack first? Mario or Gumbella? I think Mario, okay. Do you want to jump or hammer? Okay. I bet you can tattle on them all. So, 2 HP, 1 attack, no defense. 2 HP? Are you kidding me? When you jump on it, it becomes a, a normal Roomba. So if I do a double jump, I destroy it, because it only has 2 HP, right? Oh no! I tried to do the defend button. Oh, I... Doing the defense thing is tough. So I'll, I'll hover tattle this guy. I just like doing the tattles. That's just me. Okay, 2 HP, 2 attack. Wow, spiky Goomba, huh? I guess that spike boosts its attack. Alright. It hurts your feet if you jump on it. Duh. There we go. Man, I am not good at the defending myself thing. Okay, so I'm gonna have Mario jump on this enemy here. But I'm not gonna have him do a double jump. I mean, if I did a double jump, I would have won the battle. But... If I'm only doing a single jump, now I can do the tattle on it. That's a Goomba. Yeah, I I'm one of those, in case you haven't noticed. Um, Goombas are the underlings of underlings. No standout features to note. Totally rude. Okay, two, one, and defense is zero. Oh, I kind of get it now. Good guard. I got that guard. Hooray. I mean, Goombella's got seven. I mean, she's got ten hit points, and most Goombas don't. So good for her, right? 
Good fighter. We got 10 star points. You want to get 100 star points? Yeah. Owie! Oh, oh yeah, and they give you some coins when they run away. Later on, losers. <laughs> that felt awesome. You ready, Mario? They're playing more where you come from. They'll all have it in for us. Uh, when they attack, try to hammer or jump on them. Attack, and you can get a first strike when you enter the battle. All right, so I'll try to show that off. But next time we see an enemy, we're going to try to jump on the enemy first or, or hammer them first. Does that make sense? We get a first strike. Okay, this is a paper airplane, which we can't do yet. But we'll use the paper airplane to get over there. So it looks like for now we have to go back here and then jump on this moving platform. And then go down this pipe to the next level. I think this is the level with the thousand door. Okay, so now I'm going to try to jump on the enemy at the start of the battle. I hit him first, but before the battle starts, it even starts, I got a hit and I got a free hit. Wow! You're a... wow. A That's cool. That made the battle go super fast. And you'll notice that we, uh, because I tattled those enemies before, uh, we still have all the information on that enemy. Oh, here we go, jumping again. Right, yeah, it tells us what the enemy's HP is. Okay, got a special hit there. Or an action command, or whatever they called it when I got the twice as strong hit there. They called it action command, didn't they? We get some coins whenever we beat an enemy, so that's cool. Wrong way. Yeah, I want to go down the stairs. Fight. Oh, so this guy, we can't start the fight by jumping on him. We'll have to start the fight by pounding him with our hammer. <laughs> Very fast battles. Alright. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna level up, uh, and uh, we get to decide what happens next. Fire flowers, nice. Oh, I bet we destroy these blocks. Hey. Right, right. I bet we can rip that paper off later, but not quite yet. Why is that the Why is the first part of the game? This is a smaller version. Actually, get to do this. Ouch. Here's a block, a big yellow block. It's too sturdy to break with our hammer. Maybe we can find a better hammer. Oh, we have this enemy. Wait, Ooh, we, this looks like a tough enemy. We should tattle. Yeah. yeah. So we can do that. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. I, I like to try to tattle every two enemies. 3 HP. One attack. Okay, good guard. Good guard, Mario. So it takes both Mario and Goombella to destroy one of these enemies. Because they have 3 HP. Pretty tough. I mean, we share star points. We're on the same team. Oh! Well, that little creature ran away. I don't know. I swear there's like something hidden. There we go! Star piece hidden there. I knew it. Whoa! Oh no! This time the enemy hit first! You can't guard their first attack! I tried to guard. I, I, I missed the timing on it. Okay, there we go. Good guard there. You okay? 
Okay, Goombella, you can do I this. Good. Goombella got it. Let's see if I miss the double attack on either one of those turns. Uh, then I'd be forced to take a, a whole nother turn to uh, defeat the enemy. I What's that key? I don't know. What's this thing? Do I hit it? Do I jump on it or hit it? Try both. Ooh, and that definitely looks like a thing that we could pull that paper later on. Get the key. I know, I'm saying a whole lot of, oh, we'll do that later, we'll do that later, we'll do that later. We need to find the Thousand Year Door first, right? And then we can do everything. Yeah. What does the Thousand Year Door even look like? We'll see you soon. Okay, so... We got the key, we use it to open up this treasure chest. Hey, you, can you hear me? You can? That must mean you're the hero of the legend. Only the great hero of legend can hear my voice. Everybody else, nothing. Long ago, an evil spirit cast a curse on me, locking me in this chest. It was a real drag. I've been here ever since, waiting a long, long time for the hero to come by. Anyway, big guy, what brings a hero like you to a place like this? Mario, I'm not sure we can trust this chest. Yeah, we shouldn't say we're looking for the crystal stars. Oh, drat. I just said it out loud! What's wrong with me? <gasps> oh, I'm searching for the crystal stars, so you really are a hero. You're definitely gonna need my help to get those bad boys. So first, find the key for the chest. Get me out. I don't know what do you know about the crystal stars. What should we do? I'm not you gotta find the key. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. It looks like this. We already found it. So... Whoa, you already found the key! I owe you big! So we're gonna use it to save this guy? Think! Haha! <laughs> Think nothing! Wee! Fools! Oh boy, did you fall for it? I burned you. You thought I was gonna help you? I'm gonna spread some suffering I've endured in that box. I'm gonna cast an evil curse on you. Fugly Wuggly Woo, you're cursed! <laughs> Enjoy that curse, sucker. You got what you deserve. You wanna hear about the curse? Ha, <laughs> listen. If you press Y, you can turn into a paper airplane. Are you scared? It'll be a terrible curse. Wee! Ha <laughs> you're doomed! It's pretty rough, so here's how it works. Specifically, you stand on one of these paper airplane panels. It starts to glow. Yeah, okay, so now you press the Y button and boom, your paper airplane. That's actually cool. You tilt the stick uh, forward and back. Okay, so if I hold left, it goes up, and I hold right, it goes down. Cool. If you tilt it too much, you'll slow down and fall to the ground. Timing is key. So what, you think that's actually cool and not a scary curse? I think that's amazing. Now we can get across and we can find the seven years of war. Yeah. And we can fly over to get to the west side. It's thousand year door, not seven year door. <laughs> it's seven crystal stars is what you're thinking of. Okay, that took a long time for it to decide I know how to be a plane. And you can press B to go back to normal. So I'll be honest, you understand the curse? Yeah. Yeah, so we've seen uh, two paper airplane uh, stands, right? That is... Uh, one was on the first level, and then one is here. The best. Wow, just wow, what was that guy's B? So the one down here leads to the crystal star. I mean, to the seven year, the thousand year door. Now you've got me saying seven year door. <laughs> woo, woo. We use it to go all the way up here to find the door. And in the next video, we'll use the other paper airplane spot to uh, reach and we promise we will open the seven year door. Yeah. The thousand year door. Goombella, look at that! It's the thousand.
thousand year door? I can't believe it's real. Legends are true. Let's get a little closer. I think later on we'll be able to get inside this area, but not yet, looks like. Sad. Because uh, that big, you see that big spring, it leads to another paper airplane thing. And it's got a little paper airplane twin thingy on the left hand side too. See, big spring with the paper airplane thingy on top. Yeah. All right, so here we go. Big moment. Gonna put our, uh, gonna stand. What did it say? Hold your map up in front of the thousand year door and find the legendary treasure of yore. Oh, I see spots for all seven crystal stars. Look, it's all spinny as it shows where the first crystal star is on the map. Whoa. <laughs> I can't believe it's like... Uh-huh. So where's the first one? Oh, it's over there in the... Wait, what? I was going to say it's in the friendly village where all the turtles live, but uh, looks like it's in a castle. Where we probably have to fight. The crystal star is on your magical map now. Nice. And Mario learned a special move called Sweet Treats? What is this? Oh man, we learn a special move. That's right, we learn a special move every time we find a new crystal star and take it to the door. This could... I am a crystal star. And that shining light. It looks like Mario got a power. Well, let's go back to my place and study it closely. Mm, I see. I see. Yes. You understand it, Professor? Of course I do. I'll explain. The first thing to know is... This map is truly astounding. It has radar-like functions showing us where the crystal star is. The first crystal star is in Petal Meadows. Petal oh, Meadows? Yes, it's a vast meadow that's east of Groveport. I've always thought that place was a little suspicious, but the name did show up sometimes in my research. I'm fairly certain that there's a pipe underneath the city. If you could find it, you'd get there instantly. And we get to that pipe pipe using our new paper airplane function. How'd you get that map anyway? Princess Peach, huh? Her Highness sent this to you, Mario? It, this wouldn't be her, would it? Yeah, it totally is. So it is her! Your princess came to see me the other day. She wanted to learn about the treasure. I told her about the crystal stars and my suspicions about Petal Meadows. It doesn't seem likely, but maybe she tried going there on her own. Oh my. Yeah, Professor, there's another suspicious group. I think that's the same thing. Oh yeah, those X-Not villains. Hmm, but I can't imagine Princess Peach getting involved with them. Right, she wasn't working with those bad guys. Alright, it's settled. Off to Petal Meadows, you two go. The Princess Peach went there. Petal Meadows? Petal Meadows. Metal, 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 petal. Oh, come on. Well, she went there. We're going to catch up to her. We're going to find the Crystal Star. And, um, yeah. Aren't you coming, Professor? I'll stay in town. Ask about Princess Peach, that suspicious gang. Besides, I don't think I could handle the trials of the road. If anything happens and you need some advice, come back and see me, okay? You got it, Professor! Well, Mario, we're off! Give it your best! Now then, let me give you both a proper farewell. Wait, what? He's got something else to give us before we leave? Maybe he's gonna teach us the new move. Yeah, okay, so it's called a special move. Oh my! Hey, let's just show it off. Hey, 
just gonna do some fighting again. Ooh, what's that? Is that an audience? There's our star power meter. It has one dot. So you use it to do special moves. Let's use Sweet Treat. Ah, okay, this is the one that gives you extra HP and FP. Which is great because I don't want to pay five dollars at the end. Five coins. So it does cost one one SP. You need to tilt left to shoot the flowers and heart like this. You're gonna see it soon. Gets uh, extra heart power for Mario and uh, Bella. And uh, don't get the poison one. Poison mushroom, bad. I did not hit one. No poison mushrooms now. Mario and Goombella are at like full power. But we used up all our star power. So, how do you get extra star power? From the audience! Get the audience excited, you get star power. What? what? Like... So press A just before hitting the enemy. Why would... I don't know. <laughs> we get star power for getting successful attacks. <laughs> yep, that's how it's gonna work for the rest of the game. There's an audience watching me. Oh. Nice! Oops, some people wanted to watch. The more exciting your battles are, the more the audience will come. So a larger audience means more star power. And you'll notice it looks like we get cards in the upper right hand corner. Are you gonna explain that? Oh, I guess we're not. I, there looks like there was a card in the upper right corner. Yeah. Oh, and we're getting a badge? Mario, it's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Power Smash. It's a badge that lets us attack enemies. Um, I think I can put on a badge myself. Fine, I'll get some practice. He wants it. He really wants us to practice. Okay, so I press this. I go to badge menu. Okay, I need one badge point to equip a badge. Uh, so here we go. I just equip power smash. And I can remove it if I want to. That's the explanation. That's how we equip the badge. So Power Smash, uh, it does double damage, but it requires 2 FP. Does that make sense? Yeah, so it costs 2 flower points. Now it's making me wonder if we could go back to that bad place. Is the bad shop going to be open now? Will it give us new badges that we could buy? Because right now we only have the one badge. We'll collect a bunch of badges. That guy is still singing. Flavio, stop singing. No, no, no. I'm not going to I'm not going to stay here at your place. No, take this place. All sweet. It's open now. So let's see. It can change the music back to GameCube music. Uh, ooh, we can get extra star power in Mario Appeals. Uh... This gets rid of one attack power, but whenever you attack, you get an extra FP. That was easy. Uh, this makes your action commands easier, but you get less star power when you do that. So if you're really struggling with the uh, pressing A at the right time. Uh, last stand is if Mario has 5 HP or less, he does more damage. And is that a box? Hey, welcome here! I know a new customer, so here's how the shop works. We've got a bunch of badges on the counter. If you want something, uh, just check this box and you can find others. This 
see what the others are. So power jump, uh, it's just like the uh, power thing, except uh, it's just like the smash hammer, so it does twice as much damage when you're doing power jump, but it uh, requires butler power. Uh, this always ignores the enemy's defense. If your partner has 5 HP or less, they get half damage. Happy flower. Ooh, that's a fun one. So, uh, every now and then you just get extra FP during a battle. And uh, this one is Unsimplifier. It makes the action commands harder, even harder, but you earn more star power. I guess Super Appeal is the only one that we can use now. We don't have that much money. I guess we could get the uh, GameCube music stuff too. So now let's open up our star power. Let's just add our badge. Super appeal. Eh. I'll, like, I'll stick with the new music. What else was here it was showing? Rumble, brightness, catalog. Oh, this is a lot more now. We've got notes. Oh, so if we went to that fortune teller, it would keep track of everything she told us. So we pay our money to find what the star pieces are. She'll just, it just keeps a track of every single one she's told us. Nice. We haven't found any crystal stars yet. I want to find pipes. We will All find right. the pipes in the fire in the next video. Bye, everybody. Bye.